Cause now we just see everything we believe We just see Hello everyone, and welcome to my sugar rehab for bitches who can't control themselves, or how I like to say it, <laughs> let's get this started. Here at Sugar <laughs> we understand that sugar to you is like meth is to druggies, or how I like to determine it, prank videos to pubescent little boys. Oh no 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 no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe those parents shouldn't have put so much sugar and their Cheerios. But right now I'm actually going to show you one of our many clients that actually succeeded in finishing the sugar rehab program. <laughs> Hi, I am uh, Kyle and yes I actually finished the sh uh, sugar rehab program so I have no uh, justification to eat any kind of uh, cookies, cakes, uh, uh, bunions, wait no that's not- What are you doing? Uh, chocolate cake, tiramisu, or even- <laughs> I also have, we'll say one recollection that I have it. No actual uh, uh, relation to the beautiful young man that you saw earlier today. Just just so you know that um, uh, doesn't want to be cookie a cookie patching one. You know what? Okay, that's definitely enough from you. Um, give me one second. Um, uh, strip. Ah. Uh, um. What are you doing? Fuck it. What's the goddamn it for? Where are they? Hey everyone, this is DPG here, and today we're gonna be make something I haven't made in a while, most likely a year. Okay, and 100% honesty, what the fuck is with my hairdo? And have most because I have not tried this kind of way, most because this is how I do it, and most because I am excited to try a different recipe I personally have not tried. Today we're gonna be making some high protein oatmeal peanut butter chocolate chip. Cookies! You don't need a whole lot of ingredients, just make sure you get a protein that's suitable for you. Personally, go with vanilla, but my dummy self did not check and I got strawberry milkshake. So we're gonna try something different. You really don't need a whole lot of ingredients, actually quite simple. Let's get right down to it and begin this show right now. As you can see here, I already have most of my ingredients lined up. We need 30 grams of good quality protein, 30 grams of peanut butter. I put 60 because I like my peanut butter. Two tablespoons of chocolate chip. You have two servings of peanut butter powder. That's my own little added ingredient. We got half a cup of oatmeal with a little bit of baking soda right there. You don't need a lot, just one eighth of a cup. Sorry, not a cup, no, teaspoon. We got one tablespoon of butter, my own. It says butter substitute, but I'm going with the real thing, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, one egg, one tablespoon of agave nectar, one tablespoon of maple syrup, and a little bit, just a tad bit, of brown sugar tablespoon. And, of course, vanilla. You can use imitation or actual vanilla flavor. Your choice, I just have imitation vanilla because I'm running about this stuff. The number one thing you do need in this, besides the syrups I showed, is natural peanut butter. We're talking about peanut butter that only has two ingredients, peanuts and salt. Do not get the Peter Pan. Do not get the Skippy. Do not get the store brand unless it's that kind of brand. Here's why. Why am I paying for extra oil? I want peanut butter, not peanut plus other oils, butter. I am paying for peanut butter, I want peanut butter, I don't want a thing that is so close to peanut butter spread, that's basically if peanut uh, ingredients doesn't have 9% peanuts. Why am I paying for oils? Because it's cheap. There's certain things people shouldn't go cheap on, and it's this, unless you have kids and you really can't afford it, but if you can afford it, get that kind of peanut butter. So, just put everything, all your granny drinks in here, and just mix it yourself. Uh, since we are not going off a lot, there's only make, oh shit. I can't use this bowl anymore, because there's a goddamn hole! Fucking amateur hour! Okay, got my other one. So let's <laughs> finish off the rest of these dry ingredients. There we go. So just get like a spoon, a fork, or you know, like a whisk. And just mix yourself. Just make sure you mix everything together. Brown sugar in this, and my brown sugar is absolutely- Oh, goddammit. My brown sugar slightly went bad. So, 
Just break it up with my hands. I actually wash my hands before I start cooking because that's how you're supposed to do it, people. We're in a, we're not, we may not be in a restaurant, but we're not animals. Now what could, this recipe calls for is only a little bit of imitation vanilla. Just like a, two dashes, boom, that's it. One large egg. So, one tablespoon of good delicious maple syrup. One tablespoon of butter. Okay, I'm skipping my two cents on this one, and maybe you should be careful about how much butter you put in this thing. How do you even know? You don't even eat this stuff, dude. Nonetheless, you should be able to taste the butter, not drown in it. What? You're saying that I use butter as an actual crutch in my whole stink of life? That the only people I actually engage with are inanimate objects that I create in my mind? Because I am too damn scared to walk outside, say hello, and see no one else except my little home and cubby. Maybe. Just maybe, you're using butter as the crush because what happened to your brother? Don't you dare talk about that. You don't know what fully happened. I was there. I saw everything. I saw him grilled, buttered, and cooked right in front of my eyes. They were maniacs, monsters, and worst of all, they made me eat him. What? They fed me his grilled rosemary leg. You liked it? Oh, yes. I... Ah! No, you buffoon! He didn't die! He now runs a game bar and combo! Ever since he got buttered! Guess it triggers something deep inside him! Freaking homophobic, Jesus Christ. Come on, get in there. Now, here's the thing. I lit the... You're probably wondering why am I not letting the butter soften? Well, I actually... While I was doing uh, this... Oh, God damn it! I didn't open it! Fuck! You know, but you know, certain things you shouldn't eat. You should not eat corn syrup at all. That's literally the devil. And people tell you... That's just natural. They're lying. Do you know what you have to do to make corn syrup? It's actually freaking nuts. No, you might. This one's gonna take a little bit longer because she's like I said. You got the butter. You gotta mix everything in here. Oddly enough, this I'm surprised that this recipe does not call for you know milk or anything like that. I was actually uh, impressed by that. I'm not mad or anything. I'm just a little bit shocked it didn't ask for anything like that. We might have to. What's the word I'm looking for? Um. Add a couple drips of water, but that's fine. Now, while we're mixing this, make sure you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Make sure you get every little delicious piece of, we're gonna see, as you see, it is lumping up a little bit. Oh my God. Well, I'll be right back fixing this. Okay, this time I actually got a spoon this time to mix everything else up again. It might be a little bit too thick, so I'm gonna add a couple drops of water. Not a lot, here's why. The peanut butter powder absorbs a lot of liquid because it, it, it's made for that. You know, it's made to give you that peanut butter taste without you know, all the fat from the peanut butter, even though peanut butter fat is actually still good for you because fat is still good for you. Make sure you get a pan. Make sure you get some parchment paper because that's, you don't want this stuff sticking to it. That'd be, it sucks when the stuff sticks to it. You really don't want that. Well, I like to use a little bit of this coconut oil stuff. Just a quick dab right there. And if you want your, oh, God damn, I hate just random crap everywhere. I know. I know, my life is just a mess. Let's oil up your hand a little bit. Why? Because we gotta grab this crap off here. But this is the fun. This would be a cool little thing to do with kids. I like, you know, if you have kids and it's like, tell them, all right, it's time to make some cookies. Make these cookies. You don't need a lot of sugar to make cookies. You really don't. Yeah, I only got like a tiny little bit right there, but hey, look at these messy fingers. Oh, this is not bad. Mm -hmm. All right, in the oven for 10 whole minutes. Check them in eight or something, just so, be careful. And there we go, cookies right there. And yes, if you're wondering, I let them cool down. I had to cook them for an extra couple minutes, mostly because uh, they just weren't fully cooked. There you go. Looks uh, promising. Hmm. Actually, that's not too bad. Yeah, with a hint of strawberry. I could probably add a couple more chocolate chips, but it's pretty good. A little too good. Bastard. 
didn't even know what his blood sugar was before he even died. What the hell are you talking about, dick? What kind of drug do you actually have to check your blood sugar for? Well, well, from the samples we got, what it looks and tastes like, and what of our, what of our dogs showed, I think I know what this is. Well, what form was it? Crack? Cocaine? Meth? Meth? I don't know. It's BC. What the hell does BC stand for? Simple. Baked cookies. 